Welcome to the May Blooms YouTube channel. Thank you for being here. Today we're going to talk about our breeding pens and runs. All of the buildings here are designed by myself and these are some of the original drawings. They then go into the engineering and building phase. All of that is done here on the farm. This is one of my favorite designs and that's why we've used it a few times. It allows for a really good space for the birds and excellent ventilation. These coops are six by six with exterior nesting boxes. Once they were built, it was time to prep the site and of course paint the exterior. I really wanted these structures to blend in, so I went with black. Clearing the land and laying the groundwork is probably the least interesting part, but it's really important. Each coop has an attached 12 foot by, by 10 foot run. Seeing a new space come to life is one of my favorite things and this space was really important to me. Next was priming. We ensure that we get everywhere inside and outside primed. Underneath each coop and inside the run is this covered dusting area. It's really important to the chicken's health and it was a vital add. The inside space is 36 square feet and it was enough for three roosting bars and about 12 chickens total. How it all came together at the end, again, I was more than thrilled. Putting the birds in there is the best part. Watching them live their lives in this enriched environment that you've created all from the ground up it couldn't be more rewarding. This is where we have our breeding birds each year. So these are the birds that we set aside as the best of the best and the resulting fertile eggs are the next generation. It's a closed loop. The exterior nesting boxes are probably one of my favorite features. You don't have to go inside the coop or even inside the run to collect eggs. This is how the birds exit into their run from inside the coop. This was when we were training our livestock guardian dog mate. As I mentioned, these breeding pens allow for self-sustainability here on the farm, which is very important to me. There's a small group of birds in here for only a couple of months out of the year while we collect the fertile eggs for hatching. After that, the pens are given time to rest, cover crops are planted, and the birds move into the general population in the pasture. Thank you so much for watching. Any comments, please drop them below.